If you're looking for the cheapest coins in Madden 23, head over to AOEAH.com. They are fast and reliable. And make sure to use code WOLF for 3% off. Link is in the description. Now I've shown you guys in previous videos how EA nerfs your offense according to what the defense picks. And today I'm going to show you guys that in action. And then I'm going to show you how to counter it. Make sure you drop a like, subscribe, become members. Full scheme breakdowns are in the members area. Trust me, you need to know the stuff that we use across this channel. Check out my previous videos using these abilities out of the Buccaneers. Really good, especially like in regs. If you use the Buccaneers, the only problem you're going to have is pretty much just trying to make your defense really good. It's hard to do it with this defense because they're not that good. However, you can win most games uh, using the Buccaneers online. So we have tight offset tight end. We have wild trail week. We have trail white flex. We have dollar nickel over all the full ski breakdowns in the members area. And then I show you guys different stuff across the channel just to help you go on high win streaks. Now, we're in the tight Y off week. We're going to be in the Colts offensive playbook. And then we're going to come out in a play called Drive. Now, as far as personnel, you can do what you want. But I want to make sure that you guys can actually see what's going on. So we're going to pick up. We're going to pick Drive. And then we'll go against a cover one first. And let's just assume, okay, he's running man defense, right? Or he's running cover one. Let's assume I take Godwin and just put him on it on a slant, okay? Put him on a slant. I'm gonna snap the ball. Let's pay attention to his route. Pay attention real close. We snap the ball. Boom. Takes off on a slant. The guy's over the top and he's there to make a stop. Now we're gonna do this consistently, but I want you guys to see how he runs the route, okay? Boom. No, nice cut, right? His ability lights up, but the guy is still there. And the reason that's happening is because the whole damn. <laughs> Gonna sound, it's gonna sound foolish, but it's predetermined, okay? It's predetermined, everything's predetermined. You put him on a slant like this, it's predetermined for him to cut like that. Look, I mean, just look at that, right? We are struggling because of the way he's running his route. And that's because his ability is actually lighting up. Well, actually right there it didn't. But in some situations it's gonna light up, right? But just look at like how the, the defender's there. It's just amazing to see, right? You, you wouldn't know any better if you just put him on a slant and go. He cuts DC. We got a play there. We, you know, it's completed. But let's say we want to boost him. We want him to run his route like the real Godwin, right? Because right now I'll tell you, this isn't the way Godwin runs his routes. He's faster than this, okay? He's faster than this. But that's because your opponent's running cover one and it's predetermined, okay? Predetermined outcomes, predetermined everything. All you have to do to get Godwin to run the route the way he probably would run it in real life is just motion your inside receiver across and then put him on a slant, okay? Now let's see how he runs this route just simply by moving Gage across the field. Boom, look at the boost now, son. Holy crap, you see that? That's what I'm telling you guys, man. Okay, again, I'm gonna show you guys. Regular, watch how he runs his route. Slow in mud, cuts, the guy's above him. Horrible, because it's predetermined, okay? That's how that's how these games work. But if we motion gauge across and then put him on a slant, right? Now let's watch how he runs his route. My man is gonna be on fire, son. Boom, cut, cut. He's gone. No space. And that's just what happens in this game because well, you're getting shafted if you don't know any better. So what I want you to do is if you have a scheme, it doesn't even have to be this formation. Go against cover one and see what happens, okay? If, you're, if your slant is getting picked up consistently, try using motions and stuff to throw off the logic on the defense because that's what we're doing. See, EA knows how to predetermine animations, but once you screw up the logic, they don't know how to react. Now, for cover two man, it's kind of the same thing, but let's just say we want to attack cover two man with God one on a corner route, okay? Same idea. Corner route Godwin, like this against a cover two man. Watch how he runs it. Now we still got a cross there, and I should have moved him. I swerved him, but it's my bad. He still kind of cuts, right? He cuts, but it's slow. See, look at it, like he's running in mud. Now the guy's on top of him, right? This is the same thing. It's happening the same way. Like, the same way with cover one, it's the same. I don't know why they keep running 3D. But you see, look how he cuts that. Look how he cut. Let me go to instant replay, man, because he cuts that like a bum, son, for real. Let's come to instant replay. Let's watch him on this damn corner route right here. Look at this cut, bro. Look at this. This is terrible. This is just terrible, right? Just terrible. Do it one more time. Put him on that corner route. Just running in mud. Now, it's right here. Boom, he got that. 
but let's just say we want to make sure he gets that boost okay let's just make sure we do the same thing motion gauge across put him on a corner route and now he's going to run this corner route the way he's supposed to you probably want to just take wide, put him on a drag or something like this boom he's gone son he's gone son from the beginning of the damn play this is how you boost your receivers against the predetermined logic that's ea and i don't know why they did it this way it made it so blatant you know what i mean like why would you make this so easy to see right think about it man you got people like me in this game that know how to break it and find the glitches and stuff like that why would you do this now he's just cutting these uh corner routes even better you see that instant cuts let's go back to the original watch how slow if i don't move nobody watch how he drags drags the corner route people are there almost a damn pick if it was a regs game it would have been a pick 100 percent timmy's get those but let's go ahead and move gauge across and put him on a corner route throwing off the logic throwing off the defense watch how he cuts the route now boom cut perfect perfect you see what i'm saying man so this is going to help you guys and i'm just showing you guys this formation just so to prove a point because i don't even use this but let's run flanker spot and put him on a c route i mean a corner route back to the same thing so it doesn't matter it's the damn formation and the predetermined animations that are in this damn game but let me go ahead and motion someone across put them on the corner route so effectively ea is kind of cheating you on offense man now right there boom and then he cuts it perfect 100 completions now i'm gonna have to look at tight offset tight end because i'm not in that formation but let's just look at let's come into another one let's come into empty base flex go verticals Let's just see what we get away with here. Maybe it's just the formation itself. But let's go ahead and put a... Uh... Man, you know what? We could put him on a corner route again and just drag me. Let's just see what happens. This is RB. Yeah, I know. Okay, so it might just be the formation. Try it one more time. Let's do a better formation. Because right there, he was kind of close to the uh, to the sidelines. But let's go uh, four verticals, trail open offset. Let's put Gage on a corner route and drag A and B. How does he run it? Boom. I mean, that's decent, but he doesn't have an ability for cutting or anything. Or he doesn't have the route running. He might not. It might just be that he doesn't have the route running. Let's go uh, this one. Would love to use my my peoples, but they're, they're, they're on the wrong side of the personnel. But let's go ahead and uh, motion him or motion whoever. Gage this way. And let's put him on a corner route this way. Let's see what happens. Decent. It, I guess it's it's ability based. It's gonna have to be Godwin. This is the thing about Madden is that they made this damn gameplay ability based. Man, it's no longer. I mean, speed and abilities is pretty much all you need to worry about. Everything else is a non-factor, man. If you have the damn abilities, you're gonna be okay. If you don't. You're probably gonna get cooked more times than not because like i said they're nerfing your damn plays uh just the out route of, you know what let me look at the out route let's look at the out route the stock out route boom he cuts it kind of decent it's decent but let's motion someone across let's see how he does the out route if i motion this guy across but remember the out routes kind of suck already but let's just see maybe maybe and let's just drag y let's get him out of the equation he goes oh he cuts it nice but this guy's on him man so I'm saying the corner routes are your best bet. You could use whatever you want, but it just looks like motioning in this way and keeping this guy like on the regular out route. Let's just see what happens here. Remember how he cut the first time without motion? Oh no, he cuts it way better. You see what I'm saying? How ridiculous is this game? That's ridiculous. Like the fact that in order for your own damn routes to run the way they're supposed to, you have to glitch out the defense by motioning someone across. Bro, what the hell is that? You know what I mean? Anyway, make sure you guys drop a like. Uh, check it out in your own formation. See what works for you. Come back and let me know. Love you guys, man. Peace.